Today it's all about L systems, which is short for Lindenmeyer system, and this uses Turtle Graphics and a programming language called Logo. And the idea was to make this uh, snowflake, which is courtesy of Chris Penninger. Um, he's linked in the video description as is uh, Jacques Luke who uh, developed the uh, animation nodes. This is actually just producing one-sixth of the snowflake. The rest is just done by an array modifier. So there's the L system node. F and then we put a text list with the actual code in and that's f equals apostrophe double f square bracket minus quotation mark etc etc just copy that generations the, the whole fractal root works on recursions uh, so uh, the generations are the number of recursions you've a symbol limit of a hundred thousand can increase it and a load of presets here these all work the tree doesn't for some reason I think it's got it's because it's got two full stops in it and full stops as far as I know are not part of the language but uh, I'll look into it further I'm assuming those are full stops and not minuses, but no, they're full stops. Or periods, as you say, across the Atlantic. Dragon curves. Crazy cubes, I've uh, done those at the end along with the Hilbert curve. Here we're still just playing about with the snowflake. <clears throat> that viewer node, if you plug that into where it says symbols, it'll give you the full list of all the recursions, so hundreds and thousands. If we want to animate this, plug a time info node in, but as you can see it only lasts about five frames before it does it, so we want it to happen over more frames, you know, so you can see what's going on, no point in animating something over five frames, so we add number, maths node, there it is, and drag it and drop it in there, change it to divide, wherever divide is, oh, there we go, and we'll divide by 50, which should shove us out to about 250 frames for the animation. Here it comes. And when it gets to the symbol limit, it'll just die. There we are, symbol limit reached. If you wanted it to go more frames, obviously you could divide by 100. If you want it to go a bit quicker, you can make it divide, divide by any number you like, really. We'll try 25. Should give us about 125 frames. There it is. A much faster snowflake. There is a problem with these snowflakes in that uh, as I, I have tr I'm having trouble uh, using it as a mesh, but uh, this is the L system code. You'll have to just um, it's quite simple. You'll have to just pause the video if you want to write that down. But it's written all over the place. This is a snowflake with material added. This works fine, but um, 
I'll try and think of a Christmas card or something. What I really want to do are these sort of things like the Barnsley Fern, which is this. This is on Wikipedia. These are the rules, as they call them. It's a great list of these written down for you. And this is what it does, which is pretty near what it's supposed to do. Increase the recursions, and it'll die again at about five and a bit. The step size, I've just halved it because by default it's a metre in uh, Blender, which means it's a massive thing. Probably could do with a tenth of that size and just zoom in on it. Doesn't actually um, affect the limit. And what that little straight line is doing, shooting off, I don't know. I can't get rid of it. Something and something not quite right. But still, we're nearly there. A bit more practice. And it's certainly much easier than other uh, fractals. This is the crazy cubes. You see, they just keep going and going and going. And then they'll reach the limit and then we can run the camera sort of through it just to have a look neither use no man the beast but uh, neither is this uh, Hilbert curve but it's still interesting and it is programmed and that's it for today